Hey guys, welcome to another Plan With Me with Erica D. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different than my normal Plan With Me's um, because I'm going to do a special insert for my planner for Disc Love. Have you heard of Disc Love yet? It's, well, this is my first time to do it, so I'm not entirely sure, but it seems to me that you take extra discs, maybe from old planners or from, um, you know, uh, like for instance, I have like a... Um, notes, happy notes that I have kind of ripped pages out and just put in my planner and so I have the discs left over. Or you can just buy discs and you take a Sharpie and you write a little short message, you know, be happy or be kind or something like that on it. And then you're in this group with nine other women, I guess, but it could be men, nine other people, and you mail off the discs to each of them and then you would also then receive them it, it's to me it sort of seems like a chain letter for planners but i think it's kind of neat and so i got into a group and i'm actually really excited because it's a group with hannah joy and if you follow happy planner at all you know who she is and she's kind of fantastic and just like super fun and i'm so glad that i'm in her group so i actually get to send her a disc and i guess receive one from her which is kind of cool so since there are nine, ten of us in the group, um, I have decided to make a little insert page with everyone's name, address, um, have I sent the disc to them, have I received the disc from them, and then also I'm going to make a little um, page marker for everybody in the group just as an extra gift. For instance, I have this page marker. This is just a picture from um, Pumpkin Paper Co., but you could also put the first letter of your name, you could put your entire name across the top, and then you just laminate it, like empty laminating. You know, this is the only thing that's laminated, but the whole sheet goes through. Punch it with your punch, and then it just holds your page. So it sits like this in there on the page, and so it kind of peeks up above um, so I'm going to make some of those too. So I have to mark that as well. So what I found is this roll of stickers that I never use because my kids are too old for nap time. And mom life works for me, but I don't like the phrase momming ain't easy because I kind of love being a mom. So I don't use these stickers. Um, so I'm going to kind of um, change them around and turn them into a checklist for did I do everything that I needed to do for my disc glove. Bevel, bevel, bevel. Okay. I also, because these are the colors I'm working with, this pink, this purple, and this kind of teal color, I found some washies that work with them in case I want to decorate, and this washi too. It doesn't have the purple, but I still think it's nice, and I didn't want it to look too springy. I feel like these colors can go very spring. Um, and so when I look back at this someday, I don't want to think, oh, I did this in the spring. I didn't. It's fall. These aren't fall colors, but to keep it not looking springy, I'm going to use this. This takes a little while for me to put on because I'm actually going to put it down the spine here. So I'm going to fast forward through this part of the video because no one wants to sit and watch me do this the whole time. So give me just a second. Okay, so I have put the washi down right here on the spine where the discs will go. And as you saw in my speed up video, um, I had to cut out the um, slots here so that it will still turn on the discs. And it wasn't quite perfect, so there are a few stray little pieces of washi here. But I can just get those as I see them and just pull them off with my knife. And it's not a huge deal but it just takes a little bit of time. I think that whole thing, that probably took me five minutes. So if you've got the time, it's a neat way to add your own little touch to the spine of your planner. But if you don't have the time, it's really not necessary. But I like this washi. I, I, I yeah, I just really like this washi. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I did. Babel, okay, <laughs> all right. So I made this sticker, it's the only thing I made myself this time on my silhouette, 
um, just says disc love, even though it kind of looks like a weird disco thing, but that's okay. I haven't decided if I'm going to put a sticker under it or behind it or not, or if I'm just going to put it, but it's going to live here up at the top. So if I check that, that comes down. If I were to put it like that, I would want to leave at least a half inch above it and a half inch below it to have some white space. So I wouldn't want my next thing to happen until an inch and a half down. So around here. So now I just have to decide with this washi if I'm going to go vertical with it or horizontal. And I have nine of these I have to put in. Um, I think I'm probably going to end up going horizontal. If I go vertical, one, so if I have three stickers, one, two, three, I only need two washies unless I put one right here on the edge, which I could do that. But I could do one, two, so if I have three, that's the same way because nine by nine. Yeah, my math is, yeah. So I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? All right, I'm just going to put these down and see what happens. So an inch and a half from the top. I'm going to put this guy, I'm going to put these down really loose for now because I I didn't map this out or think this up first. I just kind of, um, I'm just going to see what happens really. So, I'm just above that little spot on the grid. And I'm just laying them down just by the corner right now so that I can get a feel for where I want them to live at. I think I'm going to end up scooting this one over. I want to leave some space for some washi there. Oh, that didn't work. And if I want to make these about even, and I'm eyeing it, I'm not really even counting the grid dots. Although, if you're a little more particular than me, that would be something you can do. If you don't do disc love and you're wondering how you can use this idea in something you do, I've seen people do this, um, something similar to this, like if they're big, um, like say football fans, I've seen people kind of map out the football season using stickers sort of in this manner. Um, you could use it for if you're a concert goer, um, mapping out a concert season. Like I live really close to a university and I like to go to all the concerts that they get to bring in. It's kind of an awesome part about living near a college town. And that's why I laid them loosely. Because see now I don't have room. So let me move things a bit. You don't wanna watch this so I'm gonna fast forward. All right, so that's a little bit better now. So I'm just going to smush these down so that they are absolutely adhered. All right, so for each of these, I can then pen in um, their name. If I write small enough their address, I can write, did I make their page marker? Did I send their happy mail? Which is, if you don't know happy mail, it's just kind of a catchphrase for happy planner people when they send each other things. So did I send the happy meal and then did I receive the happy mail? So I don't think it's completely straight and even, but it will do. All right, so now I need to add some sparkle. Um, I do wanna add some washi hair. I'm gonna go ahead and add this disc glove. As you noticed, I moved this up, so it's not gonna have quite half an inch on the top and bottom, but it'll still have some white space. Um, I am no graphic designer, but a friend of mine is, and she preaches white space all the time, how important it is for the eye to have a place to rest. And so I try to remember that when I'm doing things. Okay, that's kind of cute. Sort of like it. All right. Um, which colors do I want where? 
So if I do a strip of pink here, maybe blue here and purple here, that should be kind of fun, but it's too wide as it is. So I need to actually slice my washi a bit. I use the grids on this um, sealable cutting mat that I have. Just because as you saw when I did this, washi doesn't always lay straight. Um, like it's it was on the edge here and here, but over here in the, in the middle, it kind of bow, bowed out and so I had to slice it off. So because washi doesn't lay straight, I use the lines on this to keep it straight. Um, I want my washi to be about, let's go with, if I go with half an inch, it's gonna look like that. That's too close. I'm gonna go with three eighths of an inch there, or I'm not even positive I'm talking about the ruler correctly. I think I am though. Three of these little squares. <laughs> I think it's three eighths of an inch. I'm gonna have to like count the squares sometime and just be like, yes, I know exactly how this is measured now. But right now, I'm just gonna call it three eighths and pretend I'm close to right. I want that, do I want that right up against it? I'm gonna try that. I may end up lifting this up. And so I'm not going to cut this tip off yet because it'll be easier to lift up. I might wanna scoot that over and have some white space on the side, I'm not sure yet. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same with my purple, and I want it, I can do that same width. This purple washi has a paper backing on it, which is not a problem except in storing. As you can see, it just, it does that. You know, regular washi, it stays like that, so it's easy to store. This stuff flops about. It doesn't stay wound up. Um, so when you're storing this washi with paper backing, it's kind of a headache. But as far as usefulness, it's it works the same. You just have to throw that away. So again, three squares, which is I'm gonna guess three eighths of an inch. But again, I should I should just count the boxes sometimes. Oh, and it slipped. Did you see my ruler slip? So you have to hold the ruler really straight down with your holding hand. Um, or it slips and so you can see that's not a good cut there but I'm gonna keep it I was gonna do blue there so I'm gonna do my purple over here I'm gonna line it up with the top of these boxes it's not a very clean cut though Line it up at the top of these boxes here and come down the center. And I'm not gonna link, bring it to the bottom of the paper. I'm actually gonna bring it to the bottom of these boxes here. Yeah, I love me some sparkle. I don't know if you could tell, but I do. And my turquoise washi is the same with the paper backing. Part of me, I'm going to be honest, wants to use up all of this washi just so that it is out of my storage container because it just gets in the way and bugs me. I really love the colors. I don't even remember where I bought it. Um, I love the colors, but it just makes my storage container crazy. Oops, moved my mat. And again, I will take this and line it up with the top of these boxes. Have a white um, border on each side of the washi for some white space. There's my cutter. It's not really a washi cutter. It's a Cricut tool probably for scraping things off the mat. I'm not sure, but our silhouette, not Cricut. Same idea. But it works for this. I got that idea from run with craft scissors. All right, now I've got glitter everywhere, but that's okay. You can never have too much glitter. Okay. Um, does it bother me, bother me that the white border is bigger over here? Yes, it does. So I am gonna do what I said I was going to do. I'm gonna lift this up. 
I do want this one to go from top to bottom just because it's on the edge of the paper. But I want that left and right um, paper, you know, the white in here, to be similar to what it is over here. I wouldn't dare say exact. As you can see how much measuring I've done, but it's close. Okay, does it bother me? And there's glitter, 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 no glitter. Yes, it does, but I'm gonna get over it. Or I could use a teeny weeny sliver of black glitter just to border that. I'm gonna try it. Why not? It doesn't hurt to try it, right? If I don't like it, I take it up. It's not the end of the world. So when I say teeny weeny, I'm talking an eighth of an inch. Sorry if my head got in the camera there. Push really hard on your ruler so it doesn't slip. And I'm going to take this and just add a sliver of shimmer down here. And I kind of overlapped that black floral washi a little bit just to um, keep that white space the same. I could have gone right next to it, but I wanted to keep that white space more consistent. And this washi, I'll admit, doesn't stick the best, but it'll do. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a nice little touch there. I like it. Happy me. Okay, so now you're wondering what I'm gonna do with these things that say nap time hustler, because it's not, it's disc love. I'm going to change these borders, and I'm either going to use these, because I realized if I cut off the word work, they fit in there very nicely, and so I could use that to put their names, or I could use a colorful box, because that'll fit in there well at two, and put their name in there for that. So I haven't decided which, but I am gonna white out these, because either way, it's going to show through when I put down the next sticker. So I'm gonna pause you and fast forward that. Okay, so now I have to make a decision. It's decision time here. Do I want to use another color over top of each of these? Because I've got my colors, my turquoise, my purple and my pink, so I could do that. Or do I wanna add in some gold to what we're doing? I think, I think, I think, I think I'm gonna add in the gold. I think, did you hear me say I think? So I could take it and offset it like this. It's kinda of cute actually. The problem is, is I will not be able to peel this up well once I'm got it down because that white out will come up with so the um, sticker and the sticker will not be able to be placed back down so I want to check each color so I think on this turquoise one because the the original title was kind of different I think it needs to be centered instead of offset the way I did it with that one so again I'm laying these down nice and loosely so that if I change my mind I don't ruin the entire sticker well, that one has that rounded edge, but I think it's, I'm gonna lose the rounded edge. And I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Wish I had more space here, but I don't. Oh, let's see, can I pull that up or not? I don't know if I did that right or not. Like it really does pull the white up, white out up, and then it, yeah, that's gonna work. So these are the just these are just from colorful boxes. Um, my absolute favorite sticker book. I would buy ten of these if <laughs> if budget weren't an issue. Which of course budget is an issue, and I'm out of that size. But somewhere I have another colorful boxes sticker. I'll be right back. Okay. Did I mention this is my favorite sticker book? And I would buy a hundred? I would, but I haven't. I've bought three. And these one, these gold box stickers haven't been used yet in this one. So again, here's the turquoise one that has to be in line because of the original title being bigger. I don't want that white out peeking out. If 
you can hear piano, my husband seems to be starting to practice. Either my husband or my daughter, I'm not sure who it is. One of them is down there practicing. All right. It is not often. Oh, I didn't empty. I was about to say I get to like pull this out, but I don't because I've got these bullet points, bullet checklist things. All right, so I don't need this now. I'm going to put that away. Um, I had thought that I would add this sticker in. Kind women are the future of um, womankind. But I don't have room, as you can see. It is completely full, so I will put this sticker book away. I haven't used it yet, but I bought it. And I did find these cute little guys, too. This is in the Neon Lights book, and I thought it might be fun just to add a little character here to them. So I think what I'm going to do, I'll change the plan. I'm going to write their name here and then their Instagram handle here. And then, did I make the bookmark? Maybe, maybe did I say that wrong? Maybe I'll make their address fit in this box and this will be their name and their handle because address will be bigger. Okay, I'm gonna stop jabbering. So I wanna use some of these and add them in just for fun. So this one looks like the Happy Planner disc. So I'm gonna add that, put that there. Oh, but I don't wanna put pink on pink. Okay, so, oh, that's, oh well. And that's silver on gold, but I don't really care. Do you not care? And this is the little like, um, like you are here sticker, which is kind of fun because I'm learning about all these women and where they are from. This is the wrong color, wrong color. Silver will work even though everything in here is gold. Put that there. Um, here's another silver that looks like the Happy Planner discs that there. Here's another you are here. I'm looking for the right colors. Um, you know, this pink, turquoise, and purple. So then I've got this light purple here. And another light purple in the disc love. Doesn't matter. They're the same color box. And then I need two more I could just use, what, the flowers? Oh no, here's one more pink Happy, uh, disc kind of sticker. So I just need one more. <laughs> Nothing's the right color. I could use a light pink. Purple o'clock doesn't work. Could use that flower. Again, a flower and a clock. Okay, I'm gonna go with the light pink because these boxes do have that ombre to them. No, I'm not. I really am not. I like the purple. So, nope, because that gives me two purples next door to each other. This gives me two pinks next door to each other. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go with the turquoise flower. No, why didn't you guys show me this? There's a light blue one right here and that totally works with these boxes. Why don't you guys point that out? Seriously, people. Okay. In fact, I like that better than... No, I don't. I'm just going to leave that there. Okay. That totally works. Okay. So that's my disc glove insert for my planner. Um, not my normal thing, but I thought I'd give it a shot. So if you're interested in disc glove, you can do a search for disc glove on Instagram. And there's a person whose name is escaping me right now. I think it's two people actually who run that page and and they're kind of, um, they make groups every once in a while and say who wants to be in this group and you put your name and I guess they just draw them out of a hat. I'm not really sure how they choose them. But I was so excited to get chosen for this one because Hannah Joy is in it and I just love that. Or Hannah Joy, as she says. So anyway, if you're interested in that, look it up. I'll uh, let you know how it went when it's all over. Uh, okay, well, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of them, subscribe to my channel, and happy planning and happy disc love.